that nigga here talking about that just oh let me explain this yeah let me check check this out for you for y'all that don't know you understand let me give y'all a little breakdown on how this nigga even much older beats by the pound money right check this out I'm gonna use KLC for example Let's say he getting $5,000 a track, right? Mm-hmm. Now, let me, I, 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 I've been telling you that everybody was still doing beats, rapping on features, you know, dropping albums, the whole, a whole year straight without, without getting no money for the albums that's coming out all of a sudden. Like, you know, at first, we were getting paid at first, but... For, for some reason, this year, that year, we ain't had nothing coming in for the whole year, but we were steady doing in the studio, doing it, because we had, like, he we, he already had a schedule. Like, yeah, being on finally going to drop the end of uh, October, prime suspect going to drop the beginning. So that that's where the, he was dropping shit every two weeks for a whole year straight, every two weeks. So... Just think, KL, he gonna at least have five tracks on each one of them albums that come out by itself. He gonna at least put, for sure, KL gonna have at least five on every album that came out that year, every two weeks. So, if if we, you got a schedule where it's still, even though we ain't, nobody ain't getting no money coming in for that whole year, the schedule's still going yeah. as planned. You know what I'm saying? So right, yeah. right. But, but that's what it is. if you look at a kid, this man getting $5,000 a track, a beat, each beat he put on, Fiend album, a mystical album, let's say he getting $5,000 a track. And he might get more, he might even was getting less. I don't know. But he should have at least been getting about five thousand. I'm gonna guess because KL would like to hear one you be by the pound. So five thousand for a whole off of every album for a whole year. You know how much money you owe just him, not including the other four. So that's why they had to negotiate a fucking deal to sell it and the nigga ain't my, and they really ain't have to do that cause that's their money already the albums already had them came out so they really ain't have to negotiate they nothing the yeah you're, but they was willing to negotiate alright look you owe us what three per one per something just give us this and nigga ain't want to do that but then they gonna get in front of the camera and be like, nigga went to the strip club, nigga spent their money, everybody spent their money out there. That what you telling me? Cause ain't nobody from that no limit shit straight right now. So what everybody spent their money? Come on man, stop it, man. Well, ain't still straight. Come on, man. Come on, that's like I you said, that's why straight. I respect Baby. Like for real, like he that's why he surpassed him. Like, you know what I mean? Because when him and Juvie went on, uh, what's your girl on um, that fucking, um, went on that talk show, uh, whatever her name is, but he was talking, baby, was saying, like, you know, he ain't perfect, everybody made mistakes, you know what I'm saying? But he, he willing to fix it. He ain't saying, man, them niggas spent their money, man, them niggas, I paid them niggas, you know, I was, you know, that man said, I made mistakes, I'm, 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 I'm coming around, and he, you know, he fixed it. And he said, because he want to start, he want to finish with the people he started. Nigga, got to respect that. You know what I'm Now that, that a million nigga, but that would, be, would be burning me up. Well, he he, he always getting up there like he ain't do, man. Come on, man. Nigga, nigga ain't never got a publishing check. Or no, no writers publishing. No fucking, nigga, we wrote, everybody wrote their own music, man. Nigga should have got writers publishing, all kind of publishing. Nigga never got publishing, nothing. Nobody, no artist, under no limit. You know where all that shit was going? To that name that was stamped on the back of them fucking albums. 
Big P Publishing. Come on, man. You talking about a nigga ain't supposed to be mad, man? Fuck that boy.